guys, it's Holly. Um, just wanted to come back with another review. Um, today it is going to be um, the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup. Oh, sorry for the glare, you guys. There, can you see a little bit better? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so I looked this up online. Um, I had seen this in the drugstore, of course, um, several times. Um, and um, didn't look that amazing, so I never uh, picked it up. But um, So I guess the idea behind this is you're supposed to be able to find um, <laughs> a good, perfect match for your skin. Um, but it's also supposed to look really natural, like you don't have any makeup on. Um, I looked this up online just to see. I picked it up in the store and didn't think anything of it, so I looked it up online just to see what their claims were, and because there's nothing on the bottle that I can see. There's no claims on the bottle at all. There's a little tab under here that you're supposed to like lift up to find ingredients, but there's no claims. So, um, online it got like a 2.8 stars. I mean, didn't seem like very many people liked this one. But um, I'm in L1, which is also ivory. So basically what it is is, I don't know if you can see that, sorry guys. Um, basically what it is, there's light, medium, and dark or deep, however you want to uh, say that. Um, I'm pretty sure, because I did a double check it when I picked this up, and I'm pretty sure it was just the three tones, light, medium, dark. So I'm fair, I'm not light, I'm fair. I don't know if you can see today. Oh, Sorry for the light, you guys. Man, I just can't figure this out. Um, but I am very light. And I, today, I don't know what it is, but I look kind of like a dead body today. Um, fair skin people have this problem. And I'm 39, so a lot of my pigment is going, especially in my lips, I'm losing a lot of pigment. So anyway, um, I'm very fair. So this, this is the lightest one. They have L1, which is also called Ivory. So I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit too dark. Um, we'll see I mean I'll try it anyway sometimes it works out even if it's a little bit dark sometimes it still works out but uh, sometimes it doesn't so we're gonna go ahead and try this out it's a pretty nice bottle I mean this is a good standard kind of bottle with the pump and everything um, you know so I don't know again I haven't watched I don't watch I haven't watched a lot of videos or any videos on this particular one I watch makeup videos all the time but a lot of times I only watch two or three people and I don't um, research the foundations that I pick up because I just I want to have like a just um, a clean slate as far as like doing a review so that I haven't heard much about the foundations and after a while I just forget anyway so I try and just do ones that I see in the store and then I come upon like one that's a newer release a lot of times by that time by the time I get to that one I'll have forgotten what other people say about it all right so let's go ahead and get this coming out like you guys see there Okay, so it's very creamy, very thick and lotion-like. It does actually look pretty light, depending on what light, because I'm kind of trying to see what kind of undertone we have here. It looks pretty orangey to me. I'm telling you, all makeup, all makeup, almost all, is so orangey. So um, I have a sponge and a brush today, of course, so I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me. Yeah, it feels kind of creamy. I'm just going to put it on and then blend it out instead of trying to dip my sponge in. So we'll do the first side with the sponge. Alright, right off the bat I feel like I'm not getting any coverage at all. It also seems like this would probably be a good one to uh, just use your fingers with. And again, my dark eyes usually are a good teller. All right, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, of course this is going to look pretty natural because I don't feel like it's giving any coverage at all. I'm going to go ahead and do another layer. And I'm going to use my fingers this time, and then I'll smooth it out with the sponge. And you instill second layer. Looks like no coverage. Some of that on the other side because I don't want too much. This um, 
This feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't have a scent that I can tell. Yeah, this feels like a moisturizer, so it's almost like they just had a lotion and put a little bit of a tint in it. And a lot of it is just absorbing into my skin like a lotion would. Oh, I forgot to bring me a mirror. Like, I haven't done this, like, 25 times, and I still forget my stuff. All right. I'm going to give you guys a close-up look. Hmm. Yep, this looks almost exactly the same, like I hadn't put anything on at all. All right, let's try the other side with the brush, and we'll just see. It set a little bit on my hand, so even though it feels really creamy and lotion-like, it looks like it's going to set down and not be rubbing off and wiping off during the day, but who knows. Get a little bit more. Now the last one I did, the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, um, that one I like could feel that one setting down on my skin and it felt a little drying, like especially in my the one area of my face right here that's normal skin. This I don't feel like this is really tackling very much at all. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm going to put a little bit. This lighting is kind of weird because this side always looks darker than this side in this lighting. When I look straight on ahead, it looks, they look the same. Well, that looks like it did absolutely nothing. I see. I guess the good news is that it doesn't look too dark, but that's because it looks like it left no pigment at all. <laughs> it just looks like I didn't put anything on. So I would say this probably is like a tinted moisturizer but not even as good as that because I feel like it didn't really do anything like at all. Um, it doesn't have a scent at all. Um, I don't know you guys this and it this I bought purchased this for let's see $8.44 like eight dollars and forty four cents um, I don't know what to say guys <laughs> uh, try different foundation maybe um, yeah um, this is gonna have to be a no for me so uh, sorry cover girl true blend I don't know um, Let's see, what could this be good for? Let's see if we can end this on a positive note. This could be good for um, any foundation you have that's a little too um, drying, because it feels really nice on the skin. It feels like lotion, like a moisturizer. I'm not getting any transfer at all, um, but it feels good on my skin. Like It, it just feels like a moisturizer. So any, any foundation you have that you're like, man, I like the coverage, I like, you know, whatever, but I just wish it was a little bit more hydrating. You could get this and add it if you, I mean, I don't know why you would go out of your way to pick this up, but 
it might be good for something like that. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even waste time picking it up. But again, positive note, it'd be good for thinning out any foundation you have or making it more hydrating, something like that. Um, and to be honest, there are some times when I, I do that, so I don't know. Um, it might also be good for like if you have a, if you use a um, powdered mineral foundation like a Bare Minerals or um, um, any mineral foundation, anything like that, um, this might be good as like a primer. Um, and since primers anyway are already like um, about, can be about eight bucks, um, you wouldn't be out too much. And my skin is a little bit more even, but it really hasn't done much. So um, it's a tiny bit more even though, I will give it that. So it's, it's like that in that it's more like a tinted moisturizer. So you're gonna get a tiny bit of pigment, but not very much, it's not gonna cover much <laughs> but it will give you an even a bit more even skin tone so maybe you could use it as primer um, what else that's all I got guys sorry <laughs> so 844 no I don't think this is worth it but again my skin is different than your skin so maybe that's what you're looking for you might want to give it a go remember always keep your receipts because you can return it if you don't like it tip number one of the day. All right. Thanks you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll be back with more. Bye.